Yeah, yeah, I know, I'm extremely late to the party. But hey, the Team Trees project goal doesn't end until the end of this year, so I'm not too late. My original plan was to not make a video about this because climate change videos don't do too well on this channel. I guess the earth heating up really isn't something many people are interested in. But then I came across a video that I thought would be interesting to lead me into this topic. Plus, I've seen so many Greta Thunberg videos out there recently, so why not? Ah, climate change, one of the biggest concerns of modern human civilization. Such a problem, but yet we don't do enough to tackle it. You know, I think our ignorance or lack of action really says something about human nature. We tend to always think about ourselves or people close to us, but when it comes to something that is further away from our line of sight, it becomes less and less important. Climate change is something that isn't going to destroy us right now or in the next couple of years. Rather, it'll have its impact on generations down the line. People who some of us probably won't ever get to meet. It's impossible to see into the future and sacrifice things we have now for the sake of people who aren't even born into this world yet. As scary as that sounds, it's part of human nature. In addition to that, it's going to be people who live in developing countries that will suffer for the most first. Life is not really fair. The biggest polluters, people who live in developed nations, will be the last people to feel climate change. Isn't that just wonderful? You have these people living humble lives who hardly contribute to climate change, and they're the first ones to suffer. That makes it even harder for people to do something about climate change. I mean, think about it. If it's not going to be yourself, your loved ones, or your country that climate change targets, why should you change your ways? Which is why I think we have a duty as human beings to properly clean up our mess. Which brings me to the Team Trees project. Huge props for the people who organized this. As individuals, it's very difficult to put a dent in this problem. The solution has to come from large government policy changes and infrastructure upgrades. But we as a collection on YouTube can now do something separate from all the bullshit politics revolving around climate change. I will be leaving a link in the description to Team Trees. I'm not going to explain what it's about or what its goals are because plenty of other YouTubers have already talked about it. Instead, let's talk about trees. Here's a climate change solution we can all get excited about. Trees. A lot of trees planted all over the world. I love trees. I like to live in areas that have a lot of trees planted around, because seeing something green every so often can really lift my spirits up. Sure, individual trees in cities don't really do much, but that's why planting 20 million of them can really make an impact. In a new report, scientists say planting 1 trillion carbon dioxide absorbing trees could remove an eye-popping two-thirds of CO2 emissions caused by human activities since the start of the Industrial Revolution. Alright, don't be fooled by the video so far. This guy is a climate change skeptic. But let's look at the claim about a trillion trees. Each tree at its adulthood can absorb around 500 moles of carbon dioxide per year, which is about 22 kilograms or 50 pounds, roughly speaking. A trillion of these trees means we're taking 22 trillion kilograms of CO2 out of the air per year. Now, the amount of carbon dioxide emitted by the world per year varies greatly. Last year in 2018, we had an all-time high at about 37 trillion kilograms, and I don't see this slowing down. So just from these numbers, I don't see how planting 1 trillion trees can reverse our emissions by two-thirds from the Industrial Revolution. Earth has a balance through the carbon cycle, where CO2 is absorbed but emitted back into the atmosphere at about the same rate. Now it is heavily skewed due to human activity, including CO2 emissions and deforestation. So we are working with less trees than what Earth had before humans came along, up to half. And we're emitting more than volcanoes could ever dream of. Second, we're calculating using fully grown trees. Young trees, for example, absorb only a fraction compared to adults, depending on how developed it is. So in conclusion, I don't know where this claim came from, but trees absorbing carbon dioxide alone cannot solve our problem. We're going to need bigger changes from the government and its policies. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't plant trees, because they come with various other benefits. Hallelujah! The Green New Deal and other harebrained ideas wasting tens of trillions of your dollars can be tossed into the trash can. I mean, if you bother to do the calculation yourself, I'm sure you would know that we would need more than just trees to solve this issue. Not to mention that planting a trillion trees is a lot. Many of those will end up dying. It's obvious that we'll need a combination of different efforts to combat climate change, and policy changes is one of them. Yes, I get the argument that certain policies will hurt the economy and hurt people in the country. That's a separate argument that I won't go into detail now, but for the sake of argument, let's say it's true. But even so, we're talking about sacrificing a bit now to prevent huge losses in the future, which will cost much more. It's kind of like cancer. If you find it early and and treat it early, then the cost of treatment is lower and your chances of survival are higher. We're at this stage where we've discovered the cancer already, but we still have people who are unwilling to go through treatment. Why wait until the problem of climate change becomes stage four before we do something about it? Climate change ecologist Thomas Crowther, a co-author of the study, says, this is by far, by thousands of times, the cheapest climate change solution. Again, 
Hallelujah! Since he finally showed the paper here, I had a quick glance at it. It talks about the potential of planting trees which will help mitigate the effects of climate change, which yes, I agree with. It's also cheaper than other methods we could consider. But it seems that the paper isn't too accurate in its estimations, and some other researchers have commented that it overestimated some factors. For the sake of accuracy, we won't be taking anything from that paper, regardless on if it's right or not. Now, as you know, we at the Clear Energy Alliance don't believe CO2 emissions are the catastrophic threat that climate alarmists claim them to be. Hmm, looks like I'll have to revisit this channel sometime in the future. However, this is an idea we can get behind because it's inexpensive and there are excellent environmental benefits even if it turns out that the alarmists are self-serving opportunists. I don't know where people got the delusion that alarmists are self-serving opportunists. It seems to be something made up in order to have more ammo to attack them, perhaps. Oh, by the way, I apologize for the lower sound quality. I'm recording in a different place and the background noise is horrible. Anyway, I do agree that trees have many other environmental benefits. That's something he got right, I suppose. See, the thing is, trees don't absorb as much carbon dioxide as we'd like them to. Planting 20 million trees is going to make a small dent in preventing climate change. However, the reason we should still plant them is due to the fact that trees have incredible other benefits for ecosystems, environments, and other living organisms. For example, areas with more trees are able to produce cooling effects due to the transpiration of water from their leaves. This can make certain areas several degrees cooler, so planting as many as we can in cities could be beneficial. They could also reduce smog along with CO2, which is another reason they can be good for cities. But what about trees not in cities? 20 million trees means we'd be building entire ecosystems. Of course, you'd have to be careful on where to plant them. Planting a bunch of trees in grasslands, for example, wouldn't necessarily build an ecosystem as much as destroy one. If I heard correctly, I believe at Team Trees they have experts there with them. If that's true, then I wouldn't be too worried about this. Rainwater. We're going to see huge skews on where rainwater will land when climate change happens. While areas in mid-latitudes will suffer in drought, some areas, such as the tropics, will get an excessive amount of rain. And this rain can cause a runoff effect leading to soil erosion. Trees can help prevent that by not only slowing down the rain's impact on soil, but its roots are pretty good at anchoring the soil down. Planting trees at coastal areas would also be fantastic at countering the effects of stronger storms due to climate change by intercepting water flow. This would save a lot of money in terms of repair and defense costs. So basically, in terms of counteracting the amount of CO2 being released into the air, trees can only do a fraction of that job. They won't solve the problem of global warming. However, they can mitigate some of the consequences of climate change, along with various other positive effects. So planting trees is absolutely great, and I encourage everyone to help contribute to this project. I should mention that Mr. Crowther also says, none of this works without emissions cuts. What a downer. Downer? More like a reality check. Of course, he has to say that. Otherwise, his study gets no attention from the press. Have you ever interacted with scientists? People don't do their work in order to be covered by the press or the media. I know plenty of scientists who never get any media attention. They do this because they want to further their research and discover more about the field they're working in, and to further scientific progress. Sure, maybe there are some people out there who do this solely for the reason of getting media attention, but those people are rare at most, especially people who would lie for that purpose. Just doesn't exist, sorry. But here's the key issue. There are other ideas that would be far more effective at reducing atmospheric carbon dioxide at a tiny fraction of the cost of the Green New Deal and other climate craziness. Interesting that you're making this point despite denying the idea of man-made climate change. Honestly, yeah, there are better ways to do anything, and each method has its pros and cons. Maybe some people prefer one method to be implemented, and some people prefer others. But the point is, doing something, anything about the problem of climate change is good, at least in my opinion. And we'll definitely need more than one policy to solve this issue. The problem of CO2 emissions is getting worse and worse. We're constantly breaking records, and it doesn't seem like anyone is aware of the consequences of our actions. New Green Deal, carbon tax, whatever, if it reduces emissions, I can stand behind it. Because the benefits will surely outweigh the costs. And anyone who has any understanding of climate change would probably agree. Fixing this problem later when it's even more progressed would cost so much more. Just the damages would cost so much more. I mean, if you have better solutions that the government could implement, be my guest and share them. We could always use new ideas. But those ideas don't get much attention because they won't turn free countries into socialist states and they won't enrich the profiteers sounding the alarm. 
who the fuck is doing this in an attempt to turn the country towards socialism? No, we're doing this to solve a problem that needs solving. And it's people like you who will be responsible for the damages we will suffer generations down the line. I just don't know what to say at this point. But in conclusion, we need to take many different actions to solve this problem. Planting trees is one way to mitigate the consequences of climate change, so I encourage everyone to at least contribute one tree. Even just one makes a difference. Anyway, that's my time. I'll be heading out now. I'm making this video while on Thanksgiving break, so I hope you'll forgive me on the shorter length. Thank you to Fireshard, and I'll see you next week.